Space junk. What is it? Why is it in space? How does it fall back to Earth? What if it falls on a person? And who's responsible for it? To help answer some of these questions, I went to the Australian Space Discovery Centre to meet up with Keegan Buzzer, who knows a bit about space and junk in space. What exactly classifies as space junk and how is it created? So space junk is essentially anything that's been made by a human that's in orbit that's no longer of use. It's like satellites that have gone up but are no longer operational, uh, rocket bodies, right down to things like flecks of paint that can be created in a whole lot of different ways. You can literally just have things that are still up there through to things that have been created through it sort of degrading over time. And there's a lot of it out there. Some estimates reckon there's more than 100 trillion untracked pieces hurtling around Earth. There are some pretty big bits, but most of it is actually quite small. We're talking millimetres. But you've got to imagine that when you are in space, things move really, really quickly. So let's talk about something this five cent piece, right? I throw a five cent piece at you across the table here. It's not going to cause you much damage. But space debris is moving at eight kilometres per second. That is 288 times faster than a car travelling on the open highway. So a five cent piece coming at you that quickly can cause a lot of damage. The amount of junk is expected to grow as the number of satellites in orbit doing useful stuff for us is expected to increase from 9,000 today to over 60,000 by 2030. Sometimes some of that space junk can fall back down to Earth, usually from the pull of the Earth's gravity. And we've seen a few big pieces turn up here in Australia recently. In July, this giant piece of space junk washed up on Greenhead Beach in Western Australia. And last year, these pieces fell into a farmer's paddock in Numbler Vale, New South Wales. And the year before that, locals in Yamba Beach, Victoria found this piece on the beach. In fact, it's happened a bit over the past few decades, including notably in 1979, when these massive pieces of NASA's Skylab showered the Earth near Esperance in WA. According to NASA, over the past 50 years, an average of one catalogue piece of space debris, or junk, falls back to Earth each day. But junk falling directly on us isn't the only concern. In 1978, the year before NASA's Skylab littered WA, a Soviet spy satellite, Cosmos 954, crashed down in remote northwest Canada, spreading dangerous radioactive debris over hundreds of square Ks. And in 2007, pieces of debris from a Russian satellite narrowly missed a passenger plane flying between Santiago and Auckland. It begs the question, who's responsible for the junk and whatever happens to it? Well, let's turn to the law. Here in Australia, our space junk laws are laid out in the Space Act of 2018, which is based on the principles in the 1967 UN Outer Space Treaty. That's an agreement between 113 nations on all things space. Article 7 is the one we're interested in. It basically states that as long as it's a country that's signed up to the Outer Space Treaty, whoever launches it is responsible for dealing with it, including compensation for any damage or deaths. There are countries that are maybe a little better than others with doing the right thing, but generally everyone wants to do the right thing because we're talking about making sure the space environment's safe and it's safe here on Earth. That big bit of junk that was found in WA recently? Well, experts worked out it was part of an Indian rocket used to launch satellites into space, which means India is responsible for working out what to do next. It's been put into storage for the time being, but WA Premier Roger Cook has other ideas. Perhaps this would be an addition to the Skylab pieces that we have in the museum and um, might add to our growing collection of space debris. What's the likelihood of me walking out of this building and then being hit by a random piece of space junk? Um, I think there's more likelihood of you getting hit by a car, getting hit by lightning, winning the lotto. It is something that um, I don't think you ever need to be worried about. Yeah, for as long as space exploration and space junk have been a thing, there have been no recorded deaths or serious injuries from falling debris. There was something coming back and it was tracking for 
you know, a populated area, we would have advance notice of that in most instances. We would be more than fine to make sure that sort of people weren't hurt. But you know what? It is something that we need to think about and it is something that the space community is thinking about. Scientists have been calling for a new treaty to start reducing space pollution, similar to what the High Seas Treaty is doing for the ocean. And some companies are already finding ways to clean up and even recycle space junk. Like Newman Space in Adelaide, who've built a satellite thruster that's powered by fuel made from space junk metal. Australia is at the cutting edge and, and Australia is really committed, the Australian Space Agency is really committed to making space as sustainable as we can. There are a lot of things that we have in place to, to make it safe and you know, you don't need to go walking around the streets in a hard hat, Joe, you're going to be fine. <laughs>